What's the background to the recording of The Jealous Kind? The Jealous Kind, yeah, well, how that occurred was, I'll go back to 1976, that's when I met my good friend Noel Bridgman, which is the drummer with uh, Brush Hills at the time, Skid Row, and uh, what happened was I got a job in the band as a road, roadie. Uh, to my good friend Davey Gaynor. Davey Gaynor was oh, a yeah. co-drummer in the band. He used to have two albums in yeah. the band at the time. And uh, about the time he'd done the album, uh, Alive and Kicking. Right. And uh, <clears throat> it was around that time. And then uh, after that, we just, uh, we set and Noel became really, really close friends. And uh, like we, 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 we had an awful lot of activities together. Like we played golf together. Uh, squash, <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> right. Carrots coming out in the gigs. Yeah. You know, it all was great. And all was very competitive. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> there was times like I used to live up in Edmore at the time. And uh, we could be coming back in Cardigar somewhere, you know. And uh, at this time, at that time, uh, Noel lived in their town. And uh, Noel would have been dropped off first before I got to Edmore type of thing. We'd be in the back of the van playing cards and that sort of thing. Yeah. And, uh, no, I would uh, say to the driver, the other driver, he'd say, yeah, drop Brandon off first right. so that he took, so he could beat me playing cards before he got home. You know, that's okay. <laughs> right, like right. I said, you're very competitive. I see. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. okay. Gotcha. And he was also the, the same with the golf. Like It was always, <laughs> it was always, always very competitive, you know, which was great because Noel was a great golfer. Yeah. He yeah. really was, you know, and he'd bring you on. Right. You had to get up to his standard really? yeah, to have okay. any chance of beating him, you know. Yeah. And when you did beat him, it was like, you know, right, okay. it was, it, 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 like you took the best, he, he took the best out of you, you right. know, like yeah. he really did, you know. And anyway, back to the song, The Jealous Kind. Well, <clears throat> during that time, I, we would, I would have had a, a, number, a, a, a flat down in several place in the North Strand. Right. And, uh, <clears throat> Myself and Bridge, my partner at the time, uh, we lived there. We were kind of more of a caretaker than anything else, you know, from another friend, Karen Thomas, owned the house. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> we were living up at the very top of it. And the rest was all offices, uh, which he used to kind of rent out. And, uh, and uh, down the basement there was a the massage parlor. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> it was, you know. So basically, <coughs> there was only the massage parlor going. And us living in the top. So, a bit of like a house of ill repute. Yeah, a little repute, you call it what you like. <laughs> okay. We were lucky to have a place in the, back in them days, you yeah, know. Yeah. And that was around, that was, this, this would have been around 19, uh, 1980. 81. All right, okay. After the Skid Row yeah. days. Uh, yeah, it was, it was called Brush Hills Band then at the time. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> I wasn't with them, with them then anymore, you know. It was like, uh, I left when Eric Bell left. Brush, yeah. Uh, said, Brendan, you're leaving the band, and so was Eric. Yeah, you're going to be the singer with the Eric Bell band. <laughs> and uh, here's a PA, here's a Billy Gear, and off he's gone. That yeah. was to close the door there. But uh, back to several place. In the in the in the in, in the flat, uh, we used to have uh, great jam sessions after a lot of the gigs. There was a lot of gigs in Dublin at the time. Back in them days, and like, you had the likes of Air Watch, uh, Pat Farrell, um, Declan McNeilis, Red Peters. You had a host of great yeah. players. Yeah, you knew them great all. gigs, and I knew them all very, really, very really well. Yeah. And a lot of them would just come back after their gigs. They would come back to the several place, and we would set up the gear and we we jam, we jam all night. That's what I was just going to say, like, I mean, if it's after gigs, it must have been up all night or... Yeah, all night sessions, yeah. Early hours, really, yeah. Really, well, it to the early hours, you know. And uh, Noel, Noel, was, Noel used to come back a lot, and, uh, like, all these boys, it was, it was great for them all to play with each other at these times, mm. you know. And then, then later on, a lot of them would play with each other again in different, different bands. Yeah, yeah. And it was a great kind of a rehearsal practice ground for them. Yeah. These sessions, yeah. I wish I had a good video back in them days. The, the car D yeah. sessions, they, they were they were they were fabulous, ringing truly. Yeah. 
And uh, so anyway, uh, after uh, during one of these sessions, anyway, uh, there was an acoustic guitar, and all just picked it up and he started playing. He, he played these great rhythms. He, he had great percussive yeah. style of playing. Yeah, it was in. Yeah. It was in them, and, and he and he fabulous singer, and he started singing the song the jealous kind. And I was knocked out by it. I just said to him, no, what's this, what's this tune with the Chalice Cry? Wait, wait, this, this is a fabulous song. So I don't have to learn that one, you know? Yeah. He said, yeah, it's a song by a guy called uh, Bobby Charles. Yeah. Wrote it. Right. And like, Ray Charles covered it, and uh, Frankie Miller, and uh, Joe Cocker. Yeah. They yeah. covered it as well, yeah. as far as I know. And uh, so it was always in the back of my mind over the years, you know? And it was, uh, no one showed me the cards even. Yeah. At the time of that, and it was only lately I think about Noel, you know, after his passing. Noel, he had this gift of rhythms. Mm -hmm. Like we'd be out playing golf, and Noel would go back when he went home. He'd be down to the shed. He had the shed in his back garden, yeah. soundproofed, and he'd go back there and he, he, he was just he would play for a couple of hours there every yeah. day, yeah. every day. Right. He was a master of his craft. Yeah. Because oh, sure it was. Like, he wasn't into all this madness and the rock star boy. Yeah. He just, he just, he just, uh, yeah. He so was into the craft. Right. It's yeah. all about the craft. Obviously, he had a big influence on you then, his ah, personality and uh, all the way through. You know, his uh, sort of, um, what you're describing to me is his, his thoroughness, if you know what I mean. Like, he was a, a perfectionist, really. Oh, you say. very, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. And anything he'd done, like, 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 you just, he, like, he played, he played with everybody. He played with Van Morrison, yeah. The Warner Boys. He yeah. played with, uh, with Mary Black for years, and uh, he's played with everybody yeah. really. And he's recorded a lot, lot with a lot of people, you know. And was it like <clears throat> this relationship you had with him, like a long friendship, and that song? That's what inspired you. To that's what inspired me to uh, record a song, yeah. and it was, it was probably one that Noel should have done himself. Yeah. But he didn't, you know. <clears throat> Look, it, look, it really was one of us, like, yeah. I, I, I thought he really sang it, like, it really set in a really great, yeah. you know. It's a really good, good recording. And uh, do you want to tell me a little bit about who's on the, the, the recording? Yeah, sure, yeah. Well, on the recording, when we went down to the studio, uh, we we, uh, we got together with the boys and, uh, like, yourself, playing bass. Yeah. But <laughs> we had a great groove on it, may I say. Thanks very much. Yeah, Thank yeah. That was Gary Brown, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gary Brown on the bass. We would have had um, Norman Teeling on guitar. Brilliant. Norman. I love, love his style. Norman's a fabulous, fabulous player, you know, yeah. being a Trudy. And uh, uh, on keyboards, we had a guy called John Blacklock. Yeah. yeah. Another great, like, fabulous, fabulous great keyboard sound. player. Really yeah. did a great job on it. And uh, we had uh, come in on saxophone, we had Carl Gerdefee. The one and all. The legend. Oh, yeah, yeah. The commitments. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, them type of tunes, you know. Not yeah. Them, but yeah, yeah I, I, I've known Carl for since my teens. Yes. Great guy. Yeah. Really great, great player. And uh, who else would be on the that? Rock solid drummer. Rock solid drummer, Johnny Leon. Yeah, yeah. Great, Which, great uh, guy. To play with. Yeah, Johnny was great. Johnny used to come down to the several place back in the day as well. Right. You know, different yeah. occasions. We'd have great sessions down yeah. there with Johnny, you know. And uh, John, Johnny was always there. And, and there's a very special connection with somebody that's on the recording with Noel yeah. and Bridgman. <clears throat> that's right, his daughter Audrey came down and uh, she uh, she played away with the congas and uh, like fabulous, fabulous player, fabulous percussionist, oh. actually fabulous singer, songwriter. Audrey has a new album out at the moment, yeah. you know, and uh, she wrote all the songs herself and you know, Noel got to play the drums on that. Yeah. You know, uh, which was a, which was fabulous for to have that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we, even when he was he was ill. Yes. He made the effort to play on them, which was great. All oh, right. Fabulous, a fabulous album, and a, yeah. a, a, like like the girl, is, that young lady is like is such a oh, great yeah. talent. Her 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 playing on the record really gives it a, such a lovely feel all the way through. You know, it's yeah. there, but it's not in your face. It's, it's just it's a beautiful feel to the the song. She's amazing talent, and, yeah. You know, like Noel was very um, family oriented, you know. Yeah. Like it was all about his family and his close friends. And uh, like I said, he stayed away from all that type of madness when he could. Yeah. You know, and uh, like 
comes to fruition. Yeah. That's the right word. Yeah. 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 Uh, of, which is a lovely, lovely, beautiful family he has. Yeah. Yeah. yeah great, well, I really think uh, the recording is a real uh, great sort of tribute to the, you know, Noel himself and ah, yeah. your connection with them. And I think it's a, 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 it's a great, great recording. It's a great song. And uh, I, I would say that hopefully that this will be a successful single for you. And uh, well, you never know what it might be to. Really, I think it's when you get to <laughs> the first stage of the game. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's just an honor to, to be able to kind of, or it's a great thing just to be able to get out there and play a few gigs and <laughs> yeah, yeah. maybe uh, record. <laughs> You know, I, I think I wonder what the combined age of all the people on the recording would, would be if you added them all <laughs> together. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, well, uh, that's yeah. another thing. Yeah. But it's like again, as I say, yeah, no, it was a great inspiration to myself and many other people as well. Yeah. Like he, he was great, guy. Really, really and truly. Great. Really, he was the best. Well, I would say, um, uh, even though I play on the record, I would say I just wish you the very best with this uh, new record and um, thank you very much uh, for uh, telling us all about this, uh, the history of this uh, recording, The Jealous Kind. Yeah. Thanks, Gareth. Thanks. Cheers. Girl, don't be angry if I seem rude each time we meet A boy that you once knew They used to be so close to you Change.